Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about- What kind of There is no such thing as monsters in your closet. Are you sure? I'm sure, but the monsters of your imagination may look something like the dinosaurs that existed millions of years ago. Wonder what even killed the dinosaurs. I'll think about that every day of my entire life. Me too, but we can't exactly talk to dinosaurs. They're extinct. I stink? That's kind of mean. No, I said extinct. That means no longer alive or in existence. The only thing that remains of dinosaurs are fossils. Tonsils? I hear if you get those out, you get a ton of ice cream. No, not tonsils. Fossils. Fossils are the remains or traces of plants or animals that lived long ago. But enough talk between me and you. Let's go talk to some dinosaurs. We did it, Andy. We're in the Cretaceous period. What's a Cretaceous? Well, the time the dinosaurs existed was millions of years ago. But not all dinosaurs lived at the exact same time. The time in which they lived was broken into three periods. First is the Triassic period. This took place 250 to 200 million years ago. This is the start of all dinosaur life. Next was the Jurassic period. This period took place 200 to 145 million years ago. This is a time when dinosaurs like the Pterosaurs, Allosaurus, the gigantic Brachiosaurus, and my favorite, the Stegosaurus, flourished. Last is the Cretaceous period. This period took place 145 to 65 million years ago. This is when the most dinosaurs lived and life on the planet really started to change. This is when you could see dinosaurs like the Triceratops, Iguanodon, Raptors, the notorious Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wrong noise, man. Much better. So why are we here? Well, scientists say the time in which the dinosaurs died was during the Cretaceous period, so I figured we'd pop in before the big event. But what actually killed them? Well, scientists have it narrowed down to a few theories, but... Stop! Don't move. It's a tricycle tops. What? Triceratops. Whatever. Just go ask him how he's gonna die. Isn't that a little rude? Shouldn't I start with, like, how's your mom, or how about them Yankees or something? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Mr. Tri Garlic Knots! How did the dinosaurs die? Are you talking to me? I don't mean to be rude, but I'm just curious. Do you have any idea what killed off the dinosaurs? Killed the dinosaurs? What? Oh, spoiler alert. Sorry, man. You're gonna die. What a horrible way to tell someone his entire species is going to die. You could have started with like, hey, how's your mom? Or how about them Yankees? But you just went right into it. Sorry, but I kind of need to know. Well, what's the rush? Oh, nothing. Just most of the life on the planet being blown from existence. No big deal. What? Well, why didn't you say so? The first theory on what killed the dinosaurs involves the Ice Age. Oh, that movie with the little squirrel? Oh, I knew he was up to something. I knew it. No, not that. Here, look at this. Throughout Earth's history, there have been many ice ages. Some scientists believe that an ice age could have frozen all the water and plant life, which would have killed the dinosaurs. Kind of like what happened in that movie Ice Age. Yep. And Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. Yep. And Ice Age 3, Dawn of Dinosaurs. Yep. And Ice Age 4, Continental Drift. Yep. And Ice Age 5, Collision Course. Yep. Man, I love those movies, but what are the other theories? The next theory involves volcanoes. Oh, I have a video about that. Click the link up there right now. Nice plug. Okay, here, watch this. Scientists believe there was a ton of volcanic activity around 65 million years ago. On top of the volcanoes possibly killing the dinosaurs themselves, scientists think that so much ash could have been pumped into the air that the sun was blocked out, which changed the climate, killed most of the plants, and would have killed the dinosaurs. That's kind of like Ice Age 6, the, the search for more ice ages. What? That's not a movie. You're not even a movie. Pfft, showed him. 
Okay, now the main theory is that scientists believe killed the dinosaurs involved an enormous asteroid hitting the Earth. Now this is a theory I've heard of before. A big rock smashing into the Earth and boom, no more dinos. Well, it isn't so simple. Here, look at this. Scientists believe an asteroid may have struck Earth 65 million years ago. Yo, that totally hurt. They even found evidence of a huge asteroid in Mexico. They think that this asteroid could have struck the Earth, causing a massive dust cloud to rise and block out the sun. This would have caused all the plant life to die, which eventually would kill all the dinosaurs. Hey, that's kind of similar to that volcano theory you told me before. Yep. Oh, kind of like Ice Age 13 electric boogaloo. What? Sorry, but are there any other theories on what killed the dinosaurs, though? Sure! Some believe that a disease could have killed them. And others think that newer animals started to compete with the dinosaurs. But most evidence points to dinosaur extinction coming from the theories I mentioned. Do you think we'll ever find out for sure what killed the dinosaurs? Totally! Scientists discover new things about dinosaurs every day. They'll definitely have an answer eventually. I want to know now. Why don't you wait a little bit and see what happens? All right, so what should we do while we wait? Ooh, want to watch a movie? How about the one with the squirrel and the woolly mammoth? Good idea. Hey, Mr. Ice Papa Tops, what? do you have the movie Ice Age? No. What about Ice Age 2, The Meltdown? No. Ice Age 3, Dawn of Dinosaurs? No. Ice Age 4, Continental Drift? No. Ooh, what about Ice Age 5, Collision Course? No. Ugh, never mind. This is taking forever. Let's go home, Andy. No, no fair. I wish I could snap my fingers and be... Return of the Jedi, Ice Age 6, The Search for More Money. It's kind of like Ice Age 6 with the cookies. <laughs> Ice Age 13, The 13th Warrior. Spoiler alert, sorry dude, you're gonna die.